Yo guys, what is up? My name is Stone Cold Slayer, and we are here with another Map Monday. And this week, guys, I have no idea what number we're on, if you're wondering. So it'll be in the thumbnail and the title. So, <laughs> sorry about that. I suck with numbers on YouTube. <laughs> I don't know, it's just a problem I have. Anyway, so this week's story, guys, is going to be how I got in a car crash. Um, and this wasn't just any car crash. In this car crash, our van got tipped over and turned on its side. It was actually very dangerous. I, well, I'll just tell you guys about it. So, anyway, this was like, I'm a senior now, and this was freshman year, like, in August, I'd say. It was like, I think it was, no, it was towards the end of my freshman year. That's not really important, though. Um, it wasn't like blistering cold or nothing when this happened, if that's what you're wondering. It was just like normal, like, 60, probably. Anyway, so, freshman year, my mom picked me up from school. Because I, I usually walk to school. I do now. I still do. I walk to and from school unless Tanner, someone gives me a ride home, or one of my friends or someone, they give me a ride home. But otherwise, I walk to school and back. I've done it every day for, well, I've done it for four years now. It'll be. So, anyway, on this day, my mom decided to pick me up from school. She had, like, picked up McDonald's fries. McDonald's? McDonald's fries. And she was like, oh, here you go. I'll pick you up from school. Here, have some food. Like that. And, um, so the school is, like, at a four-way intersection and then there's two stop signs next to the four-way intersection so it's like six directions of traffic coming and stuff so it's an interesting thing and when school lets out it's really busy because there's so many kids trying to leave school like because it was like at three o'clock right when school let out because we get out of school at like 256 but basically three because <laughs> that's when people actually start getting out of the building and stuff so my mom picked me up i was eating fries she was stopped at the stop sign it's really busy. There's like a school bus to our right or something. I don't remember. That's what people say, but because <laughs> we've been to court for this. But anyway, um, so there's like a school bus or something on the right or something. I'm not sure if there was or not, but that's what I've been told happened. I was there, but this was three years ago. That's why I'm trying to tell you guys this now before I forget it. But basically, my mom pulled up, and there she didn't see anybody. She went. I looked to my right. I just see a car like hurtling towards us, probably going like 40 or 50 miles an hour. Uh, right after he, like, he went around a corner because he was at the four-way intersection he turned left and my mom just pulled out of the stop sign which was probably about 100 or 200 feet to the left of the four-way intersection so my mom went this guy goes around the this guy comes around the corner screaming just got it let out of school he's like 17 years old or something I was riding with his girlfriend in the car so he goes around the corner my mom pulls out um, my mom pulls out right as he goes around the corner he flies up hits our car well it was a minivan it was a blue no, it was a gray minivan. We have a blue minivan now to replace it, <laughs> obviously. But the minivan turned and rotated at the same time, so the car ended up sideways and against the edge of the street on its side. And here I was just sitting in the passenger seat, like 14 or 15 probably. Jeez, that was a while ago. <laughs> um, yeah, just sitting. I just look over. There's just a car like barreling towards me. Right? It hits me like... Well, it doesn't hit me. It hits our door the back between the back door and the passenger side door on the car i didn't even get i didn't even have a bruise i'm pretty sure I, yeah my arm was literally <laughs> i pulled up my sleeve to look as if it'd still be there but <laughs> no i literally didn't even get a bruise or anything guys but my mom on the other hand it was somewhat nice out so she had the windows open and for some reason she decided it would be a good idea to stick her hand out the window as it was falling like oh i can catch this which you know reflex or something you don't really think about it. it's not like oh yeah i can stop a moving car no nothing like that but so she stuck her hand out the window and then um a part of the car got wedged under her hand like so it wasn't the whole weight of the car pushing down on her but there was a part stuck on her and it like ripped the back of her hand open and stuff because like the glass broke and stuff and then the car i don't remember exactly what happened i wasn't really paying attention i was like honestly i was pretty scared i mean <laughs> i wasn't like oh my god and like crying or nothing but because I, I, I wasn't hurt i mean I don't know if I was hurt if I would have been crying, but <laughs> anyway, so I was just hanging sideways from my seatbelt. My mom's on the floor, like, are you okay? And then her hands, like, gushing blood. Um, <laughs> so I managed to, like, monkey climb out of the car through a broken window because I'm just hanging above my mom's sideways, buckled in, like, hmm, this is interesting. <laughs> no. So I managed to climb out of the window of the car, and then my mom, like, laid in the car for half an hour while she waited for the hospital. And they had to use the jaws of life to get the windshield frame apart so they could get my mom out of the car. Because she was, like, stuck in there. And, like, the car was there, too. So, it was it was interesting. 
story longer than I thought it would be. I'm like, oh, it's going to be like a couple minute story, but no. So, my mom, after we finally got her out of the car and I was out of the car, the car was trashed, basically, because, you know, sitting outside. Then we had, like, an ARB freezer, which is basically, like, a giant cooler that plugs in, and it's a freezer. It's like an off-road type thing. <laughs> but my mom uses it for groceries, and she'd just gone grocery shopping before this, and that's why she was out and about, and she's like, oh, I'll pick my son up from school, blah, blah, blah. Um, so, yeah, that was in the back seat, <laughs> oh, along with our McDonald's fries that went flying as we flipped over. So the car was, like, covered in, like, soda and stuff from what was in the fridge freezer thing, and fries and mcdonald's drink so the car was disgusting on the inside <laughs> and it was broken from getting hit by another car and flipped over oh and when they ran into us apparently their back tires came off the ground that's how fast they were going they hit us their car went like under our van a little bit i'm guessing and the back tires of their car came up off the ground at least a foot i'm sure of that but that was what happened and then my mom had to go to the hospital afterwards after they finally got her out of the car which took longer than it should have so I basically spent that whole night at the hospital. That was a fun night. That was a pretty fun night. Yeah, no. <laughs> and then my mom, her hand wasn't even broken from a car landing on it. Or part of a car landing on it. I think it was part of the windshield frame. So it wasn't like the full weight of the car. That's how she was like smashed or nothing. So, yeah, she just got her hand stitched back up. Because that's all she needed, stitches. And she was fine. And she got let out the next day. And that was basically all that happened. Car flips over. We're fine. I think that's pretty good, honestly. So... That was a long one. <laughs> but that's why I had to share with you guys for this Matt Monday. I think this was an interesting story. Story? I don't know what I was trying to say there. This has been an interesting story, I think. I think it was an interesting one. I was saving this one. So, anyway, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I will see you next time. Stone Cold Slayer. Out.